How are you, everybody? Whoa. All right. I, uh, I had an interesting week last week. I was riding in a cab, and I found someone's phone, which is a weird experience to find someone else's phone. First thought, immediately, do I keep it? <laughs> nah, it's a droid. This guy's got it tough enough. <laughs> Not going to kick a man when he's down. Uh, the phone was ringing when I found it, and it kind of threw me off. I didn't know what to do. So I just picked up the phone real quick. I was like, hey, if you want your cell phone, I'm going to leave it at the front desk of the Warwick Hotel. And then I dropped off the phone feeling like I had done a good deed. But I forget how creepily deep my voice is. <laughs> so whoever made that call got two rings in and then just heard, if you want your cell phone, it'll be at the front desk of the Warwick Hotel. <laughs> Who is this? If I don't hear from you in the hour, I'm gonna start sending pieces. <laughs> Case first. It's my baby! I truly believe some, it's weird to me that in this country, some people treat their cell phones better than their grandparents. It's mean. I love my grandma. She's awesome. She's 86. She bakes. We play gin rummy together. She talks about death with an ease that rattles my bones. It's creepy. Have you ever talked to a really old person about death? It's just facts. No emotions. It's the closest I've ever came to interviewing a serial killer. Like, Grandma, what happened to Rose next door? She's gone. Did she move or? You're never gonna find her. Did you, did you kill Rose? Jen, oh, you sneaky nana. You're so good at Jen. I find it weird that it, in this country, old people are treated so poorly for the main reason that they're not good with technology. We have all this brand new technology in the last 12 years. Old people aren't good at it, so we think it's okay to just disrespect them to their face. It's like, you don't have a Gmail account, Grandma? How do you not have a Gmail account? I was born during the Great Depression. <laughs> I remember when straws were invented. <laughs> My Nana doesn't know how to turn on an iPad. Nana, how can you not turn on an iPad? Oh, um, hey kid, I used to bang a guy that killed Nazis. <laughs> but good job of those angry birds. I think that was it. I think that was the greatest generation. That's why they're called that. And then it slowly just gets worse and worse. I don't trust the children. One's being made now, the 2014 model. No, thank you. Mostly because their parents are my friends. <laughs> and they shouldn't be breeding, they're animals. You know what it is though? It really is little kids now are like the opposite of old people. They're way too good with technology while remaining terrible socially to the point that I feel like they're messing with us. Have you seen a two-year-old on an iPad? It's disturbing how accurate they are. They're just like, boop, 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 then look up at you like, eh. like no, I don't believe that. I just watched you do a bank transaction. Don't you Kaiser Soze me. Just put the money in my overseas account. <laughs> ah, I want to go up. Ah. <laughs> Sticky-handed little liar. You know what really disturbs me the most, though? The thought that that's the generation that's going to have to defend us against China. You feel safe? You feel safe knowing that? An entire army in 20 years that's like, I would storm the beach, but I have a shellfish allergy. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. You were very proud. <laughs>